Okay. Get our three parts in the, we'll try the same thing, but the third one we'll try a sorting out pot. We'll see how that goes as well. Uh, you never know, we might get a surprise out of the sorting out pot. Might, that might turn out to be the best one. It's just we haven't quite figured out what the extra one part is actually doing to the, the soil. Um, anyway, with these ones I can plant in, the, in I'll be planting in the centre. to see if that makes any difference, you know. Okay. Well, this is still nice and brown, as you can probably see in there, so that's something. I mean, that's consistently going brown, so that's, you can tick a box there, it's just, as I said, we've got a little bit of back or end learning to do there, to why, why that one part is making such a difference compared to these other ones, you know. These, are, these ones are also differing by about one part, and yet they haven't quite, you know, gone over the... They saw, saw some demarcation point or delineation point that we haven't quite figured out what that really is all about. I assume it might be important. I mean, if suddenly the plants later on in the season go absolutely bananas in that one, we'll, we, we'll know how important it is to actually work out what the heck is going on. And this one, which is such a, such a deep root run, I'm going to have to try and squeeze this one in, fellas. Let the old plant work it all out itself, you know. Okay. Down there. Hopefully it can all work that out itself and maybe it will expand out and push stuff up and we'll be able to keep an eye on that over coming months. Anyway, put that one to one side. Here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> uh, so sort of thing. But again, in case of pulling back the charcoal, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. This, but as I said, it may be better just to do the um, you know, the prepare it hot idea. It may be a we'll just to see how that works over time, but uh, yeah, not so bad. Oh, you can expand it out a bit, wrap this one in. Mainly roots everywhere, this one. Uh, get those roots down. See how we go. I do try to keep the rhizome up a bit because they do try to pull themselves down, you know, and also you can see what's happening that way as well. Yeah, I'm just trying to make it as best I can because there'll probably be heavy rains coming fairly soon now as we get we usually have one we have two basic heavy rains we have two basic gully winds one that's stronger than the other we also have two basic rains in good years where it gets heavy enough to wash material off the the front of the lawn out there and down the road and we usually get up to like two of those a, um, a season sort of thing so anyway there's that one put that one there one side. Now we can start on the, the sorting out one. This is just a, I don't know, leave this to the lucky hard ass sort of thing. This might turn out to be the best one, you know. It'll be interesting to see what the colour of the soil is. No? Oh, hang on. That's, sorry. Uh, no, it hasn't really gone brown on the outside, so maybe that's an important point but basically it's just sand in the centre here fellas so um, maybe that was a good idea with all the sorting out not to do the centre so oh, oh and it, oh, and it's, it's a bit